Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're going to have a little look at the effect of a toxic electricity problem. And it's right in here. So if you look up at the top, you can see that we have an electrical cable coming in and an electrical cable going out. Now, what the interesting thing is here is the ground cable. And we're going to go right in and have a little look at this ground cable. So, right here is the junction connection for this ground cable. And it should have two ground cables going into it and one coming out to the socket. Now, there's the socket cable right there. And it comes to this little clamp arrangement. But you'll notice that there's only one cable coming out of it. And what we have here is the second cable. And the second cable has become disconnected from the clamp. Now, this is not the first time I've seen this fault on an electrical ground system. And it is actually quite a common fault. Because what happens is either the crimp hasn't been made correctly and one of the cables pops out or it just snaps off. So I'm not sure which case this one is, but all I can tell you is that we have one ground cable that is not connected in to the clamp. And um, this particular socket location is about halfway around the circuit. So there's several sockets on the circuit after this one. And with this ground cable being off, that basically tells us that there's several sockets on the circuit that do not have a ground connection. So it's something to be wary of when you're deciding to use the electrical grounding system for health purposes, is that quite often the grounding system is faulty. And you'll probably get an okay reading on this, because if you look in there, you can see it's actually twisted together. But in a fault situation, it probably would not pass high current. It would probably get either very low current, or it would start getting hot because of the high resistance of the connection, because it's not crimped. So it can be quite a dangerous fault in certain situations. I certainly wouldn't rely on a disconnected ground that's just twisted with another ground to actually clear a fault or as many people are now doing these days actually plugging in to the electrical ground system for health reasons and i strongly advise people against that activity because the electrical ground was never made for human health purposes it was made for clearing electrical faults and you should only use it for that purpose I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.